When Enoch Kanai was 16 years old, he and his family were forced into a Japanese internment camp in Idaho. Three years later, he was joining the army to fight for his country. I was 19 when I went overseas to join the 442nd. You know, we were all Japanese Americans. The 442nd go for broke unit full of fierce frontline fighters, including Sergeant Kanaya, battling the Axis powers in Europe and bigotry at home. All we were trying to do is prove that we were Americans. President Truman said that we not only fought the enemy, but we fought prejudice and that we won. So I thought that was a pretty good speech. He remembers sneaking across the Gothic line in Italy, fortified with German troops. It took us eight hours to climb that mountain. And when we finally got up there, we were on top. And they were below us. So it didn't take us much to, to clear out all those machine gunners. Today, he's being honored for his unit's work to liberate France from German occupation, receiving France's Legion of Honor. Mr. Kanaya, you're a true hero. Thanks to you, I grew up in a free country. As he was pinned, roaring applause and a standing ovation. This medal really doesn't all belong to me because I think all the GI veterans of 442 deserve this medal as that much as I do. Sergeant Kanaya still stands at salute, humble at nearly 100 as he remembers his fallen comrades. They're the ones that made me uh, the album able to come back. I'm one of the fortunate ones that came back. Kamaya now pinned with the highest distinction for service to the Republic that France can bestow. He says it's the honor of a lifetime. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.